What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gamer Duel here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Randomizer Nuzlocke. And today is a special day. You know, we're out here. We're going to go see the teacher because she got to teach us because we've been naughty. Um, anyway, let's go do a team recap after that random intro. Uh, we got level 9. I trained everybody up, got them kind of back up to par with where everything is because I think a lot of these trainers are going to be level 8. So, level 9 is probably a good spot to be. We got Coil, Baneful Bunker, Mystical Fire, and Dark Pulse with the Magic Guard ability. Snazzy. We got Zayden with Bubble, Shadow Sneak, Steamroller, and Water Shuriken. We got Green Bird with Searing Shot, Hex, Psybeam, and Sacred Fire with the Steelworker ability. Honestly, everybody's got some cool abilities that I'm really excited to kind of showcase in today's episode. So, first things first, I do turn the experience share off for grinding because it would make Greenbird hecka hecka over leveled and we ain't really about that life uh i don't like to over level um so therefore i didn't obviously like we have a 9 10 and 11 um and we had the 11 we had 11 7 and 7 before grinding and it's like and so yeah so we kind of just i just i hate over leveling i feel like it, it it makes the game unnecessarily easy i just like i said don't necessarily want to display that like hey if you grind you can beat these really hard locks it's like yeah you obvi obviously if you get your pokemon up to level 100 in like a level 10 area you're gonna artificially make the game easier for you Ooh, imposter okay luckily it's a wild encounter and we don't really care about it but yeah so i am definitely more along the lines of let's just nail it get everything to go we got it hashtag nailed it um i watched an episode of nailed it today not gonna lie, I kind of like that show. It actually made me crave some ice cream really badly. <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, but we did not satisfy those cravings, which is good. Uh, Black Belt Joy, is that just Joey, not Joy, um, has a let's go. That's a balloon. Dun, 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 balloon. If you guys don't know who Balloon is, you should go check out Aaron's channel because uh, Cage Lock references galore have been happening. And if you guys don't understand the references, you just got to go over to Aaron's channel and check it out. I know this is not a Cage Lock episode, but like, still got to put in those plugs when necessary. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys are having, a, just like I said, a great day. I've had a great day so far. Like, I'm so energetic and I'm super excited to see where this adventure carries us. Um, considering that today we're going to be fighting teacher, um, Emily, I believe is what her name is actually in the game. It's teacher Emily, but I don't remember. Um, it might just say teacher, teacher. I'm not a, I like, I don't remember anything. Let's be honest. Um, so we're kind of just taking whatever steps we can to get through the game. Um. And we actually get to see if TMs are randomized in this episode. They're supposed to be. And randomizations have been correct so far. Besides the uh, every Pokemon starting with four moves. But, like, honestly, that's, like, the least important randomization thing that... So, like, I'm not necessary. I'm not actually worried about that. Like, I'm not going to go re-randomize it just to re-randomize the moves again. Oh! Kahuna time! Youngsta Mia. I don't know why it's playing totem music, but is he one of Why? I spoke Aaron's name and this thing pops out. Oh no. What a Fitting, what fit, fitting music for this? I gotta turn it up though, because you guys can't. I don't think you guys can really hear it that well. But this is the champion music. Oh, Ultra Sun and Moon. I know why champion music's playing now. I, I hey, I'm just happy I recognize why it was happening. Like I was like, why is champion music happening right now? That's not supposed to happen because there's a little kid trainer who um, casually wants to challenge the champion. So we're getting, so that's whose animation we're getting. How am I supposed to deal with the Yvettel? 
I guess I could mystical fire it. I almost want to scout it out, but I'm going to mystical fire first. I'll make the safe play first and then... Just because I know it'll lower the special. Oh my god, that did nothing. <laughs> Woo! We don't have to worry about that. He's tackling now, which is honestly the best we could have hoped for. Uh, because now we just take this out very, very quickly. It's a 3-8 KO that Yveto would have been scary and very well could have been scarier than it was. But we'd be taking it out. I actually... I honestly don't know. Oh my god, we didn't do enough damage. Hold on. Let's, um, please do enough damage this time. Um, configure, system, audio. I wish it would, like, let me... Oh. It finally let me... There. Thanks for letting me drag, like, 63. That's so much better for me in my ears. I, hopefully it's better, like... You guys should still be able to hear it in the background, which is perfect, but it's so much better on my ears when I can actually hear the words that are coming out of my mouth. Uh, who's who, Greenbird wants Dream Eater. Does, she doesn't even have Gnosis. Nah, Greenbird. I'm sorry. You are a wonderful lady, Greenbird, but you don't get that. Ha! <laughs> I can't believe we had champion music. I'm not going to lie. That was the last thing I was expecting. Um, now we got Orin Berries, though, which... Honestly, are pretty nice. Doesn't this... There's this lady here that gives me a quick claw, I believe. Oh, we don't need it because our team is actually pretty fast. We don't have a slow team at all. And the, the Pokemon that's the slowest on the team gets priority anyway. Like, literally has two moves that are priority moves. Oh, my God. I get triggered by these doors. When will Game Freak learn not to make these not door doors? Jesus, I need to cut my nails because I am hurt. My nail is hurt tang. Hurt tang. Um, but yeah. So first off, potion please. And we're going to go ahead and fight this girl. This, I have very special memories of this girl. Because this girl actually had a pure power Aridos and snagged the first kill in my Pokemon Sun randomizer Nuzlocke live with you guys. She's the one that snagged the first kill with a uh, Ariados, and it, like I said, not. I don't want to. I don't want her to be the one that snags the first kill. I want to see how far we can go without a death. I'm thinking the first totem. Um, Sightseer Himori is going to send out a Leafeon, which we can handle. We quad resist Leafeon. Let's go. Ain't killing us today, girl. Not gonna do it today. Um, we're gonna just mystic, mystical fire the crap out of her Pokemon, and it should die. Yeah! That is how you do it. Um, okay, so Lazlo is level 11, which is great. I think that that guy up top is level 10, so we're still just barely over uh, above level, but that's kind of how this first section tends to go anyway, is you just are always going to be a little bit above level. But that's why I level boosted it, is so that I didn't have to worry about that again. Looks like you beat everybody else, huh? You think you'll beat me the same way? Ekans ability is going to get you! You don't even have an Ekans. Um, okay. You have a level 10, I believe. And it is a... We should kill it because it's a steel type, luckily. Whoa! Why Why did that do absolutely no damage? You're not a normal type. What other types are gray, though? You're definitely a steel type. What if... Bro, what type Arceus are you? 
I'm in a baneful bunker. Poison this son of a gun. Because that's per basically protect with a poison benefit. Like, Baneful Bunker is such an amazing move. That's why we, That's why I kept it. When, when, when we were learning um, the Fire Lash, the move I actually... Okay. The move I actually was debating on using was actually... Or getting rid of a Coil, because I don't need Coil. I'm not a physical attacker at all. But I want to... I just figured Fire Lash is just bad. I'm not a physical attacker. And if I'm not going to get something that boosts my special or my uh, physical, then what's the point? Um, Zayden wants to... Woo! Zayden wants to learn Thunder Punch. Bubble is gone. We got Thunder Punch, Steamroller, Shadow Sneak, and Water Shrieking. What? We just... Our team is, is already gelling, which is... Let me tell you, I am so thankful our team is gelling the way it is right now because it could have fallen apart very quickly so the fact that it hasn't is great okay do you actually have a randomized tm this time i am not seeing this right there's no freaking way that i'm seeing this right we just got the strongest physical water move. What the f is this randomizer? <laughs> I'm glad this. Is, hey, you know what? We executed one thing. This is the first time I've actually randomized the TMs correctly. Woo! But, bro, Mega Swampert has Steamroller, Thunder Punch, now Liquidation because and Shadow Sneak for priority. What? is this pokemon i mean if he i guess that is if he can learn it but like like honestly i can definitely learn work up a lot of mons can i will be so i'll be so upset if i can't nope we're good use this item on zayden 85 base power Stab. Oh, Water Shrieking special anyway. Yeet! Bye, Water Shrieking. Even better. Like, ah! Like, I cannot believe it. Mega Mega Swampert is is a First off, Mega Swampert's a powerful being. Second off, the moveset is already so diverse, it legit covers everything and like even if you look at grass types like oh no what if i get wrecked by a grass type i got steamroller like and plus why would i even send out zayden against it when i have green bird who ha is a psychic type and a flying type so it, re it it like a lot of grass types have that poison typing paired with it so like it just makes it that, that much better like not to have to worry about that at all um, this game, th this game has thrown out some legendaries at me. Honestly, that's been a little scary, but slack off. Oh, that's, that's easy. We, we won this. Okay. And she only has one Pokemon. I'm so used to her having like six. So, but yeah, she's level 11. So very happy that I am where I'm at level wise. I, like, like I said, I know that I know where I'm going and how I'm going about it is weird. Oh, tackle. Dude, everything is tackling me. It's like, I know the movesets are randomized. So the fact that tackle keeps just bite and stupid moves against my Slazzle, which actually, funny enough, I found out that it was a totem Slazzle. So not even, not, even, is it only a Slazzle? It's a totem. Like, and because in uh, Ultra Sun and Moon, the totem, I think, is Slazzle in... So, but there's Totem Salazzo, Totem Marowak. And I was like, I looked at it versus a Samurott. And I was like, how is the Samurott smaller? I swore it was the opposite. And I was right. So, um, I'm happy about it. Greetings, Captain Lima here. I couldn't help but observe your battles. You looked very delightful in that battle. I had no choice but to summon you here. 
This is John from the Kanto region. I don't care about I don't care about Kakui's voice. I just want to do Lima's voice. I see. Then welcome, newcomer. I look forward to the brilliance of your moves in my trial. Indeed, we captains are the ones who conduct the trials and face of your challenge and the fates on your way to challenge the island Kahuna. My trials in Vernon Cavern, the trial of Captain Lima. You can find Pokemon living everywhere, even in the patches of tall grass in Holoe City. Perhaps you will want to fill out your team a bit before attempting my trial. Then sincerely look forward to your challenge. I would love to fill out my team, but we keep riding into the same generation. We have two mods in the box, which again, I don't know if I've said this, it's good for backup. Like, I don't mind having a backup mons and stuff like that. But, it makes it very hard to build a team in a gen lock when you are literally getting the same generation. And the whole point is to use a mon from every generation. So, it is, that is creating a little bit of a, like, a happenstance where I just, I, oh, for a second... For a second, I thought they were giving me another team. I'm like, are you kidding me? This is not real. Um, you seem to be in perfect sync with Salazzle. You've been using it in every single battle. I know. I know, Lily. Isn't it nice to, like, have a Salazzle? Like, I feel like there's somebody in the community that I know loves some Salazzle. Like, somebody said something about Salazzle a long time ago to me about how they like it a lot and this, that, the other. It might have been Hawaiian Roll. Why do I think it's Hawaiian Roll? Because that sounds like something Hawaiian Roll would say to me during my... And he was around during the time of my son live re, live stream series. So, maybe? Like, I don't know. I had a lot of people... And I actually tried to stream that one on Twitch. Oof. That was a very interesting experience. I don't know why. That was during the time where, like, I was like, I don't know which platform I want to be on. So, why not try both? And, yeah, that, that failed. Um... And as you can tell, I have not streamed on Twitch again. So, YouTube is my home, guys. So, if you guys want to support my home when it comes to YouTube, um, go ahead and hit the subscription bar below. It would get me one step closer to 700 subscribers. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, but, yeah. So, like... It would help. Also, if you tap that little thumbs up button if you're enjoying this episode, it pushes me further in the YouTube algorithm, and I just would really appreciate it. It would make my day that much better. Uh, that was such a weird way to plug, but we're going to go with it because that's been the story of today. Weird ways to plug. Why not? Um, especially, like, 18 minutes into the episode. Cool. Um, if you guys don't know, I've been actually starting to do these, uh, these cards, which is like an iCard on the top le left corner oh, fuck the top left corner of your screen right here um it's smeared and it's annoying and so being oh wait no stop i keep i said top i it's just i'm dumb it's the top right corner but i'm going left so i said left uh the top right corner of your screen uh i have been leaving stuff there lately um like the playlist is in there um Subscribe to my channels on there um, and stuff like that. So, I don't know. Do you guys like the iCards or do you just, is it a no go? Or are you guys not going to click on them? Because if, if you don't click on the iCards, then it literally changes. I don't know if it changes anything in the algorithm. I don't actually think it changes a thing. But I just, I don't want to, like, if you guys don't like them, I don't want to implement them and have them be a mainstay. Because um, my point to have the end cards. And the, like, I, ha I will keep the end cards forever. So at the end of the video, like if people want to click on the playlist to watch from the beginning or like subscribe to the channel and this, that, the other, those will stay. Um, but the I cards that were are like, here, look at this video. Like I kind of implemented them to get away from the plugging. Um, Cause I, I watched a lot of the core four projects um, and I love them. They're amazing projects, amazing series. And I know, and knowing the plugging is a meme, for me, makes it okay. But I'm not at that point in YouTube where I can say, oh, my plugging is just a meme. Because I know my intentions aren't memery. It's just to let you guys know that, hey, this is going on. It's, for me, I want to use it as a way to keep you guys informed. 
of what's going on, but also not overdo it. That's why you don't hear me say, like, every, at the very beginning of the episode, like, just so you know, we have this going on. Usually it's intermingled somewhere in the episode so that I don't, because I just, for me, I can't plug at the beginning of the episode. I'm sorry. I can't. They're like, it's very hard for me. The only time I can do it is in collaborative series, but I don't know if you've noticed, like, I literally go, I say, go check out the other person's channel. Like, I don't even say, oh, make sure to like on my own channel. <laughs> I'm like, go check out the other person's channel. Because, again, I just, it's hard. But, like, in the middle of something, it's not. It's, it's a weird thing that I have that a lot of people and YouTubers don't have a problem with. And I don't have a problem with YouTubers doing it, which is, I think, what makes me cool about it. Because I usually don't have a problem if somebody's doing something that I don't do. Like, we all do our run our ship differently. Um, so it is very, it's very weird for me. That, like, and I'm sure it's weird for you guys because you're used to the whole YouTuber spiel at the very beginning. Nah, dog. That ain't happening. We're changing the game. As you can see, we're doing a series that nobody's ever done before. So, gotta love it. Um, we have to, oh, we have to take stupid pictures, don't we? I hate this part of the game. I it's like, oh, you get to take a picture, yes. It's like, no, I don't think of an actual care in the world about pictures. Jesus, it's hot in here. Like every time, it's like, it's like hot and then it's not, and then it's hot and then it's not, and then it's hot and then it's not. It's like, I'm having hot flashes and I'm like 20. This is not okay. Um. Anyway, back to it. It's probably because my computer's hot as hell. Um. But. We get to take pictures. Yay. I don't actually know what button it is to hit. Isn't it? Isn't it Q? Oh, it's W. It, I'm used to it being Q. Oh, this is going to be so glitched. It's going at 15 frames per second. Yeah, but, but this is... Oh! Wait! They made that 15 frames per second? Are you kidding me? Because it said it was running at 100%. What is the like goal for the video gonna be, guys? It's gonna be a really high. I bet you anything. Oh wow! Can we hit 718 likes? I think we can. No, we can't. There's no way. Um, uh, but if you guys want to try and hit 718 likes, go for it. I don't mind. Um, <laughs> I didn't. I never expect anything. Like literally, my goal for every video is 10 likes. So, like, if we hit 10 likes, I know I did a good job. Um, which... I don't know. That's just my... My measures and 10s. Hi, Lily. How are you doing today? Oh, we might have our first important trainer battle next episode. Oh. Oh. Important trainer battles. We'll take those. Um. Like, I mean... Why not? It's an important trainer battle. Like, it's gonna be our. Oh, that's gonna be a tough. I'm thinking about it now, and it, that could be a. That could be a doozy. Um, can I just grab that real quick, just because it's gonna piss me off that I. Are you? They literally don't let me grab the damn totem sticker. They're like, oh, um. Uh, Theme is going to show you how to do... Why couldn't... Have... Okay. <coughs> Real talk. Why couldn't have Lily just done that? Lily's talking about her dressing. And then she'll be like, Oh, you know, there's like a totem sticker here. You can grab it and you get like stuff later. So I don't have to go forward to go back. Like... Now, with the totem stickers, I'll get a lot of these off screen... I'm um, not gonna lie. Like, when I see them, I'll get them, but I'm gonna get a lot of them off screen. Just because I don't, like, for the ex instance, I know that there's, like, others in other places. I'm gonna get this one because this one's gonna bug the crap out of me if I don't get it. Oh, oops. Wrong. But, like, I will get a lot of these off screen just because. Um, it's like you get a certain amount and you get free statics, so like, why not grab them? Um, will we actually do the thing this episode? Oh, 
What am I doing? We get an encounter. I literally almost biffed an encounter, y'all. What am I? Like, my brain is just clearly not working. Our encounter for the Aloli City is... Frick! That's, gen that's Generation 2, isn't it? Baby, we're gonna... Why? The literal one mon in the Clefairy line that's Generation 2. Ah! Dude, what is with Generation 2? Like, Generation 2 is like, I just want to stand out. And I'm like, I love you, Generation 2, but can you just not? I would love to actually be able to complete a team. And I legit cannot complete a team when I have a Clefall as my encounter. The one Pokemon, the one Pokemon that is not part of Generation 1. Like, and I can't even... Like, I'd have to get rid of Green Bird for it. And if this is a premier fairy type. This, like, Clefable, a fantastic fairy type. We just get Clefa. Like, if it would have gotten Clefairy, then we could have added it to the team because Gen 1. Nope. Nope. We just get the one of the three mons in this line that's in the wrong generation. Like, like it would be like if I got Rosa. Who's learning Thunder Wave? Oh, Snazzy. Oh, get rid of Coil right now. We don't need Coil. Thunder Wave's way better. Um, but it's like, ah! So now we gotta put that back in the box. We don't get any more encounters until Route 2. That is the third Mon in the box. <sighs> ah. I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be flat out honest with you guys. I straight up expected to have at least a team of five. Ka Li Fa. I really did expect to have a team of five at this point. No, we just get our third generation two on out of six encounters. <laughs> like six. Three out of six for Gen 2? Like, I guess we can... It's got Overcoat, Jolly, Tangaberry. Tangaberry's pointless, so... Uh, I, I don't know what to do, y'all. But I do know what I will do. I'm gonna go ahead and end off this episode here. If you guys liked it, make sure, again, like, comment, subscribe. It's really appreciated. But I love you all so very, very much. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another episode of this. Bye-bye!